Well, two years ago, the NCAA implemented an early mid-December signing period. It meant as teams were prepping for their bowl games, they were also tasked with building for their future. It created chaos on the front end, but on today's like today, the normal signing period, well, it helps cultivate this calm quietness for Boise State. With 15 signees already locked in, the Broncos only welcomed three new members to their team today. Texas wide receiver DJ Blaylock, Utah linebacker Lolani Lanji, and Nevada punter Gavin Whale rounded out a recruiting class that a number of national recruiting outlets believe is one of the best in the country and maybe the best ever for a group of five program. Today, head coach Brian Harson shared his thoughts. You got to find out, does his mentality fit ours? We are a blue collar operation, period. We work hard. That's what we care about. And if you don't care about that, I don't care how skilled you are, you will fail at Boise State. But the one thing about these, these guys that I do believe, they are blue collar and they do work hard. The football part of it, that's on the coaches, that's on the players to develop. We'll have more with the Broncos in just a bit. In the meantime, last season we witnessed a Vandal become a Bronco when linebacker Tony Lashley transferred from Idaho to Boise State. Well, today we experienced the exact opposite of that role reversal two times over. Former Bronco defensive end Coyote Rufai officially became a Vandal today, as did his younger brother Muji Rufai, who was a former Boise State walk-on. Muji redshirted last fall. Meanwhile, Coyote did play in 10 games for the Broncos. The Rufai brothers will have immediate eligibility as they transfer from an FBS to an FCS school.